comment on the the call for marches. I would just say, as it pertains to uh, fire killed scores of members of a family that was sheltering in what they were told was a safe. Thanks, Matt. Um, Hamas is calling on Palestinians to march on Al-Aqsa Mosque on the first day of Ramadan. I was wondering if the State Department has any comment on these this call. For so I don't have any comment on the, the call for marches. I would just say as it pertains to uh, Al-Aqsa, we continue to urge Israel to facilitate access to uh, the Temple Mount for peaceful worshipers uh, during Ramadan, consistent with past practice. Uh, and that'll continue to be uh, our position. Have you received any commitments from the Israeli government that they will allow access to the mosque? Uh, we have seen uh, uh, reports about, uh, uh, what's the, the right word, uh, plans that are under consideration. I don't know if they've made a final decision over that matter. Uh, we have urged them that worshipers should have access to Al-Aqsa during Ramadan. And the thing, the point that we have made clear to them is, as is true for a number of uh, areas that we discuss them, that's not just the right thing to do. It's not just a matter of granting people religious freedom that they deserve and that, to which they have a right. But it's also a matter that directly is important to Israel's security. It is not in Israel's security interest to inflame tensions in the West Bank or in the broader region. And so we'll continue to make that clear. Would there be any repercussions if any of these foreign ministers who have threatened to go actually worship at El Aqsa actually go through I, I just this. don't want to um, uh, deal with a hypothetical. And could I follow up? Um, my colleagues just completed an investigation that found that indiscriminate Israeli fire killed scores of members of a family that was sheltering in what they were told was a safe area of Gaza. Um, has the State Department, like, can you update at all, us at all on the, on the investigations and civilian harm? So I don't, uh, I have not seen this particular report that, uh, that CNN uh, has done, so I'll need to look into that for, to be able to respond to the specifics. But broadly, we have engaged with the government of Israel over a host of uh, uh, civilian deaths um, and called for investigations, asked for more information. At times, they've been able to give us information about things that happened, either mistakes that, that the, the uh, IDF made and its targeting. At times, they've been uh, uh, told us that matters are under investigation. That's the general way that we approach this, but I, don't, I can't comment specifically on this report, and which I haven't seen. You speak to specific incidents, but can you give us an understanding of the universe of how many of these incidents you're looking into? Uh, no. There are, there are a number of incidents that we looked into. As, I, as I've said, we are always collecting information and gathering information, but I can't speak to it beyond what, that. What about, what about the investigations into the destruction of civilian infrastructure or apparently civilian infrastructure in Gaza. So the, the Specific, sure. Specifically, did you ever get an answer to them about the, uh, the university? So the, the most recent update I have, we um, pressed the government of Israel for information about that. We, they came back to us and said that that particular facility was one that was used by Hamas to launch terrorist attacks. Um, we asked for more information, said that we wanted to know more information about their decision making on that process uh, and do not yet have a, a, a further answer. So you have They not gave us an initial answer. We wanted to know more and have not gotten, to, as, far, to, as far as I know, have not yet gotten a further answer. So in other words, from, from the administration's perspective, you're, the, this is still like a kind of, I don't want to say open case, but it's- but, o Open but question where we are waiting question. for more information directly is important to Israel's security. It is not in Israel's security interest to inflame Al-Aqsa. We continue to urge Israel to facilitate access to... Uh... Thanks, Matt. Um, Hamas is calling on Palestinians to march on Al-Aqsa Mosque. On the... Comment on the, the call for marches. I would just say, as it pertains to... Uh, we have made clear to them is, as is true for a number of... Uh, uh, what's the, the right word? Uh, Plans that are under. Could I follow up? Um, my colleagues just completed an investigation that found that indiscriminate Israeli fire. Any repercussions if any of these foreign ministers who have threatened to go actually worship the area of Gaza? Um, has the State Department, like, can you update it? Tensions in the West Bank or in the broader region. And so we'll continue to make that clear. Would there be at El Aqsa actually go through? I, I just this? don't want to um, uh, deal with a hypothetical. And Religious freedom that they deserve and that to which they have a right. But it's also a matter that areas that we discuss with them, that's not just the right thing to do. It's not just a matter of granting people, uh, and that'll continue to be uh, our position. Have you received any commitments from the Israeli government that they consideration? I don't know if they've made a final decision over that matter. Uh, we have urged.